And if you're, again, if you're new, welcome. Make sure to join and like my page. I'm Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Rees, where we make beautiful rees and teach you how to make and sell them. Um, yeah, I've been making rees for a long time, over 10 years, and self-taught. And so I just started making, and people asked how to make them, and so I started teaching. And so that's what I do now. I teach how to make wreaths. Personalize It by Pam on Etsy. She creates these really pretty um, uh, signs, and she's donating all of the um, profits for these sign sales to her teacher's to a teacher's group in her area who are using the money to make masks. So I thought this would be fun to do. I love the sign. It's just a great way to say thank you to our healthcare workers who are fighting the front line, right, of this horrible, horrible war. So this is, I said this is a 16 inch grapevine wreath and I'm gonna place it here and I'm gonna use my trusty little hole punch and line up my holes. I think her signs come with a hole punch, but typically, I don't know, maybe they do, maybe they don't, but typically when I buy them, I don't have them. I like to punch my own holes. I'm just going to put this on real quick with my florist wire. Yes, uh, this is a great um, wreath to donate to anyone, you know, any hospital that is in your area. Making sure I didn't do that too tight. So we've got the attached sign. We've already done this bow tutorial, so we showed you how to make a red bow for prayer to hang in your, your home or your town for, to, to show prayer and unity and support for the healthcare workers. So this is the exact same bow I made on that video, and now all I'm going to do is attach it. I'm going to attach it opposite of this sign, and now I'm going to go ahead and attach some rustic wire to get a hanger so that I can hang it up on my easel. Let me, um, let me switch up these wreaths. So this is the wreath. I love this how this wreath turned out. Isn't this pretty? Just love the colors. This is a wreath that we made. Um, I showed our wreath making of the Month Club members how to make this wreath. It turned out super pretty. Can you see the colors in that peony? It's just got so really pretty fuchsia and lime green. I love how this turned out. This is um, demoed in our wreath making of the month club last night. So we just added that to our membership portal. We have over seven, 170 wreath tutorials in our wreath making of the month club. And now what I'm gonna do is use some greenery and um, green up our base. This is from Greenery Market. I love these long pieces. This is huge bush, isn't it? This will go a long way. I'm just gonna grab a few pieces. Um, I like to use long bushes like this to help green up my wreath base. Okay. So my back is going to be to you. I apologize. I'm just going to concentrate on working the wreath. I'm just greening up, getting my base going. So we're going to have some greenery underneath our ribbon. So we're using our bow as our binding point. So everything is going to come out from there. All right, so we've got a little bit of green going on. Um, if you're in my Wreath of the Month Club, you know I like more than one version of greenery. So we're going to do some more greenery. This is another fern um, or a fern that I got from Greenery Market as well. This is actually my favorite fern. 
I love it so much because it it um, is bendable. Everything is bendable. I can strip off the ends to give me a place to insert on the wreath. So this is really pretty. You've seen me use these, I think, in some other designs. I'm just gonna do a little fan effect. Let's see. And again, the wreath came from Deco Exchange. Okay, so I think we're good for right now. I could go back in and add some later, but we have our some greens. I think I'm gonna cut out one of these tails. So I just cut off some of those tails on that bow. It was just a little bit too much. And I might still add, uh, cut off a little bit more later. So what we're gonna do now is move it on to our focal flowers. The, I know Greenery Market has these on their um, Etsy shop, but these are from Carolina Pottery, the ones that I'm using right now. We've got our geraniums added. Let's do some filler. I've got these really pretty white. This is from Greenery Market. Okay, so I think we've got enough of the white added. Let me show you. It's just a little bit of blue. I'm not gonna put a ton of blue. And I've got raffia all on it. Where did this come from? No telling, no telling. If you um, are interested in learning more about wreath making, head over to my website, southerncharmwreaths.com. We've got a lot of tutorials there to let the flowers come out from your wreath. Yes, absolutely. You definitely want to have, I mean, I personally like to have dimension. This is the perfect amount of blue, in my opinion. All right, I think we're done. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please uh, make sure to subscribe to this Facebook page if you're watching the replay over on my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe over there and ring the bell icon so you're notified the next time I upload a video or go live on my YouTube channel. Um, again, if you want to learn more about wreath making, head over to my website, southerncharmreads.com uh, for more tutorials. Um, I hope you all have a blessed weekend. Bye.